definitely been very hot yep. in the Santa Maria Valley and Santinas. And how, and boy, you know, as, as the kids were saying, not to correct them necessarily, but you know, the fall is when we typically have this type of heat yes. wave where it goes right down to the sand, you get no beach relief. We're trying to work on it slowly. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, latest conditions as far as advisories and warnings. And we'll start with uh, the fire weather warning. It's right along the south coast going from just west of Goleta out to Point Conception, Point Arguello. And of course, that ties into this, which is right next to it, which is, let's see if I get there. We go, the wind advisory. And of course, all around that, it's the same exact area all around that. And you can see with the orange and the hot pink are your heat cons concerns. First one we'll look at is the Central Coast. That should expire tonight. We're hoping to kind of knock it out of here as we head through the evening hours because we're, we're seeing some little hints of a, a stronger sea breeze. Same story for the Oxnard Plain down in Ventura County, but then when you go back up to the South Coast, we'll hold on to the heat advisory for about one extra day. That means in t until about uh, maybe Monday, and that's because the wind is out of the north, so that means we'll hold on to possibly uh, more of the warmth and less of the ocean influence. As far as the hot pink on the in on the interior areas, or in the interior areas, that is likely to stay until er, until early next week as well. So about 9-9, which if I do my calendar correct, that would be Monday. And that's again because high pressure to our east is ever so slowly trying to work its way farther east, which opens up the door to a sea breeze and it can put the lid on what you see right there, which it was in an Ojai temperature of 110, San Inez 104, Ventura 84, and a lot of our coast line except for Pismo Beach was well well above normal with the inland areas getting just roasting again and it's all because of a lack of sea breeze so as we were mentioning just a minute ago was the fact that um, the sea breeze which during the earlier heat waves this summer was pretty strong it kind of hung in there the fog this time around much more fall like where it just everything gets pushed out into the ocean uh, monsoon was very active earlier we had dry lightning concerns all over San Bernardino County now it looks like it's quieted down and there's the temperatures again some 70s along some of our coastal plains to about 80 degrees and then those areas where you're not getting that westerly exposure everything is still very very toasty the wind a big concern out of the north along the Gaviota coastline uh, humidity values are really really bone dry right there everybody else is also very dry but we're starting to see some maybe little inklings that we're trying to knock it down uh, again looking across the east coast they're getting the mild weather right now of course that means that somebody else is getting the heat and that for the most part is us. We're trying to scoot the high pressure system a bit farther to the to the east. That opens up the door to more of an ocean influence, but you're going to have to be patient uh, at least through tomorrow for most areas and possibly into Monday again. There's the monsoon again knocking on the door earlier, so you can see the little flashes right there well off to our south and east. And of course, all the colors meaning that we are just high and dry and very, very warm. Let's go ahead and now we'll look at the future track radar. As as we head into next week, though, storms to the west will knock on the door as the area of high pressure scoots out of the region. That opens up the door to a stronger onshore flow and maybe even some drizzle out in the ocean showing us that the marine layer should come roaring back again as we head toward uh, at least maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, probably more so as we head toward the middle of the week. Wind will start to dro drop off over the next couple of days. And of course, marine layer, it's going to be ever so slow trying to rebuild, maybe by by Tuesday morning for some areas along the beaches. Uh, perhaps Monday we'll get lucky. Let's see what happens. Staying hot through the weekend, the uh, tre temperature trends definitely roasting all the way out to the beaches at least through tomorrow and then hopefully bringing it back down once we get to Monday and Tuesday for the beaches. Tuesday or so for the inland areas. All right, there's your forecast at highs. Again, 80s and 90s possible for the coastline. Some 70s if we can get that westerly wind. Really, that's the key. It's the west component of the wind. If we can get that in there, we start to bring down our beaches um, quickly by the afternoon because the sea breeze is really just uh, our, our lifesaver as far as uh, the uh, free air conditioning from the Pacific Ocean. A little bit of surf out there out of the southern hemisphere and some wind swell out of the northwest. And there's your seven day forecast again cooling for the coastline by Monday even maybe tomorrow a little bit but my by Monday and then inland areas taking their time maybe a couple extra days or so by about Tuesday we expect to see widespread relief and that would be for just about all areas and you can see we'll be really looking good once we get beyond uh, Monday and Tuesday we'll be right back